Welcome to our quick demonstration and explanation of how to properly shut down a uh, failover cluster. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure that the machines that are on the failover cluster are moved or are no longer necessary. So for instance, this machine I don't care about. This machine uh, has already been relocated using the replication broker to a different office. And so this cluster, or sorry, this uh, VM can just go. Same with this one, but this one, I've moved all of the content off of to a different server in another city, and I no longer need the server at all. So I need to remove it from the domain. So I'm gonna do that very quickly. So to do that, you bring up a machine, right click on the start, go to system, and take it off the domain. You can call it anything you want for the work group, but uh, you do want to set it to something other than your domain. After you leave the domain, you'll need to know the password, which is obvious, so click OK. But it's a good thing it points it out, because if you don't know, well, that's going to be a problem. Welcome to the work group, uh, work group, work group. There we go, click OK, and we have to restart. And we can see an Active Directory that the machine is now uh, dead. It's now uh, disabled and I can remove it. Let me just F5 to refresh this and you can see it's just going to stay there. So I can right click on it and I can delete that machine now. And uh, it's going to tell me you've got a whole bunch of other stuff here and that's because this one's a print server. So uh, mostly that's what it handles and I'm just going to get rid of it. Yep, get rid of them all. Gone. Now, uh, we just do that with the rest of these. An important note before I uh, continue is that these machines will still exist on the array. So it's important that we um, get them off. The so just because they're off the domain doesn't mean that they don't still physically exist. And if you've got security issues with the data that's on there, well, you're gonna need to wipe this out. So you're gonna need to uh, power it down and wipe it. So we're gonna get through all of that. Now I'm gonna get through all of these without having you sit here and watch. And I'll be right back. So this is a good example of why it's important to shut these things down properly. If you don't, uh, if you just, you know, rip them out of the domain and, and delete them, what you'll find is that there are bits that you will not get rid of uh, properly. So uh, you'll have clusters that will be listed that don't exist. You will have, in this case, a remote desktop services gateway that doesn't exist. That's not good for a healthy network. You need to make sure that the garbage is gone. So you wanna make sure you go in, shut these things down properly, remove the services, get rid of the you know, deregister whatever needs to be deregistered. Then take them off the domain, then delete them from the domain, then wipe the cluster storage out, then probably overwrite that data a few times because security is of utmost importance, then remove the cluster from the network so that the cluster itself is not sitting there uh, non-existent in your Active Directory. So now we've got these machines turned. Uh, what we need to do is go in and dump them from uh, Cluster Manager. So let's go through and do that. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to right click and I'm going to remove. Yep, gun them all. Okay, so now comes the fun part. Let's destroy the cluster. And that's literally what it's called, destroy. So just right click on your cluster, go to more actions. They buried it on purpose so you don't accidentally do it. Click destroy cluster. Are you sure you wanna permanently destroy the cluster, cluster one? Yep. Now, while we're here, uh, I'll show you that uh, if you go to Hyper-V, you'll notice that the servers that you were working on before are still there we now have to wipe out the array itself, the actual disk array. Well, you can see that didn't take very long, huh? So that's gone. So failover cluster manager, donezo. Um, now what we need to do is go into Hyper-V, gun these things, just delete them all, just get rid of them all. Gone. 
So I've found that when you destroy these things, for some reason it falls off the iSCSI. I'm sure there's a good logic for it, but I'm not sure what it is. And what you need to do is, well, I shouldn't say it falls off the iSCSI. In fact, it falls out of device, uh, disk manager. So just right click and go to disk management. And let's see here. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're offline. So you just want to turn these on. So right click online. Right, actually, we can watch these come up. Online, the witness online. Come on, there we go. Okay, so uh, now you can go into here and you can delete this stuff, but of course that's not really scrapping it. Uh, we really need to destroy the data in here. So just on principle, I'm going to trash this data. I'm gonna right click on it, format it. Um, but I'll just do a quick format, which as you know, just uh, does very little, just wipes it out. Not particularly effective. So let's do that. We'll say, okay, bye bye While that's running, I see that this one didn't get a drive letter assigned. So I'm going to right click on it, assign a drive letter to it. I don't care which one it is because I'm just going to wipe it out. There it is. Okay. Okay, that took a minute or so. I stopped the recording so you didn't have to sit there and watch it. Get rid of that one. I'll do the others and uh, it's just an on principle thing. Uh, we're going to do something more aggressive in a minute, but uh, I want to at least uh, do the, the basic format to strip everything, at least from being highly visible before we uh, kill them properly. Done, again, took a lot longer than what you saw there because I stopped it. I'll do the same thing here. Bye bye. Okay, that just took a minute. There we go. It's quite small, of course. Now you notice that uh, the data came right back and that's just because that's part of the array. That's just what it's doing. Now, uh, what we can do is we can completely destroy this array. So I'll just go to putty and we'll put in the IP. Come up. Default is GRP admin. Default password is GRP admin. There it is, we're good. All right, and the command is S-U-E-X-S-H. Just get to the shell. And now what we want to do is we want to over... Now, this is, just to be clear, this is a um, uh, tool, as it says here, that um, or an access that uh, Dell doesn't want you to get into generally. You need, need technical support for it. But I just want to zero this out, so I'm pretty confident I can handle this by myself. If I just type in the command disk zero. Now, another way to go is um, just to force a reset. So you can just type in reset and press enter. And uh, once that is finished, you can type in the command that's pretty much plain English, which is delete all my data now. And uh, once that happens, it will lose the network uh, connections. It will be reset completely back to factory, which is something I don't want to do. So I'm going to not do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe out the data myself using uh, some free tools. Specifically, I'm going to use Disk Wipe. So this is just a little uh, free utility. You can download it. You can see I already have it here, so I'll just run it. Uh, and I've actually got it installed already. And it's running down here. And in fact, in the interim, while you were not looking, I already wiped out one of the two uh, volumes. I'm going to do the other one right now. So I've already wiped out the six terabyte volume. And the reason I didn't do it with you here is because the time was just a bit excessive, 16 hours. Now I overwrote this with a Russian uh, algorithm, which uh, uses random letters rather than just all zeros. But let's uh, let's just get to it and show you what it looks like. Here, I'll just start it again so you can see it. There it is. And uh, let's go and kill this one. I've already done uh, this one, this blank one, cleverly named blank. Okay, so let's go to wipe disk, and I want to wipe it here, NTFS is fine, and there's a bunch of different processes here. I'm going to use the Russian uh, ghost, uh, one, two passes, it's still pretty quick, as you can see here, it's got these speeds, and this is going to take many, many, many hours. So uh, this is 5 p.m. my time, this will probably still be running in the morning to get through this 10 terabyte, but it's absolutely going to kill what's there. Now, I just want to be clear, by the way, well, let's type this in. Sorry, we'll get this started and I'll show you. Erase all. Yep, I'm going to erase it all. There we go. Now it's going to run 
and you'll see, geez, it's taken a long time to actually do anything. Yeah, just let it sit as I showed you. It takes a long time to come up with virtually any information down here. Don't worry about it, it's working. Now, something that's pretty important here is, look, if, if you're dealing with government data or medical data, this is not sufficient. Uh, and if you read the latest white papers, there's still ways to recover data off of these drives. And really the only way to completely protect yourself is with physical destruction. That seems very excessive for most companies. Uh, you can resell this equipment and uh, get some cash back out of it, or uh, you can uh, donate it or whatever. Uh, destroying this uh, data, this, these disks, uh, seems very, very excessive uh, to me. However, again, if I was working for the CIA, I wouldn't think twice about it. I'd take this stuff out, I would drill it, and then I would chip it. So, um, yeah, anyway, enough said there. Next thing we need is finish cleaning up your Active Directory. So basically any of these machines that you've shut down, just kill them. So they're gone, no point in maintaining them. Clean up your Active Directory. So I'm gonna do that, I'm not gonna bore you with having you sit here and watch that. Just a quick note, what this is saying is that there's additional objects that are underneath this. So for instance, things like printers or whatever else that need to get cleared out of the uh, directory. And so, yes, this is uh, generally something you're going to want to do is to get rid of the subtree. So uh, don't freak out if you see this. And uh, most importantly here, I'm going to get rid of the cluster. So this is a hard thing for me to do, um, but uh, it's got to go. So that's it. So now we're, uh, we have our active directory cleaned up. We have our uh, disks cleaned up, we have the array wiped out, we have the data uh, relatively securely wiped out, again, unless you're the CIA or, you know, unless you're worried about the Russians or something like that. Uh, what we're doing here with this disk wipe is right here, is, is more than enough. And uh, yeah, I think we're in good shape. Uh, that's about it. If you have any uh, questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank <smart noise> you.